The last 18 months have been tough for director Tim Davey, as scandal after scandal shifts eyes towards the company's culture of acquiescence. The BBC is playing scandal whack-a-mole as its boss Tim Davey faces overwhelming pressure to tackle the organization's culture of turning a blind eye to the behavior of its so-called presenter gods. Mr. Davey has been hit by several scandals over the last 18 months, involving the likes of Who Edwards, which some suggest point to a broader problem at the organization, Russell Brand's alleged conduct at the BBC between 2006 and 2008 which went largely uninhibited, suggests that managers at the organization tolerate misbehaving and powerful media talent. Reports The Times, Liz Kershaw wrote in The Telegraph last week that the management culture at the organization while Brand worked at Radio 2 and 6 Music, allowed him to indulge in narcissistic and reckless behavior. She claimed Brand's alleged behavior left behind him a trail of ruined careers and shattered lives. For women accused Brand of sexual assault between 2006 and 2013, including a woman who claims he raped her in 2012. There are also a number of other reports about Brand's lewd behavior, including an incident in May 2007, while he was working at Radio 2. Brand allegedly offered to send his assistant, naked, to see Jimmy Seville, five years before that presenter's heinous crimes were revealed. One former BBC manager, Leslie Douglas, is in hot water over her management of Brand when she was his Radio 2 controller from 2004 to 2008. Ms. Douglas quit the organization in the wake of the Satchgate scandal, the Times reports that a BBC insider claims she enabled some of his antics. Douglas even allegedly shrugged off complaints against Brand, talking about Brand's radio show, a Six Music source reportedly said, it soon became apparent that the show was going to be whatever Russell wanted it to be. In December 2007, under Douglas' watch, a complaint was allegedly made about Brand's behavior to the studio after an alarming display of aggression and disrespect. Brand allegedly hurled objects during a fit of rage. He also urinated in a bottle in front of production staff and a guest who was invited on Radio 2 by a charity. This alleged complaint was not referenced in official reports into Saxgate and Douglas allegedly appears not to have acted in response to the complaint, the Times reported. According to the Times, one BBC source said, Leslie Douglas enabled him. She must have known, Brand, was a firework. She should have made sure that he had a producer who could have controlled him at least a bit and that all of his programs were pre-recorded, they should never have gone out live as they were too incendiary. The comments were made despite Brand's most controversial Satchgate episode being pre-recorded, she referred the matter to her lawyers when she was contacted by the Times earlier this month. They said Douglas did not at any time encourage, enable and or fail herself to take any adequate steps within her power with regard to the conduct of Russell Brand of which she was aware. They also said she couldn't provide any more information because of the obligations owed by her former employer. However, the BBC recently freed her from confidentiality restrictions, meaning her role in the Russell Brand scandal can be investigated. In recent months, the BBC has also been hit with scandals about former Radio 1 presenter Tim Westwood and Who Edwards. Rosamund Irwin and William Turville write for The Times that there is an obsession with stars at the BBC.